Hi guys, Double Trouble Whipkins number one here with Checkers, and welcome back to the Whipkins Crafting Table. We haven't had an episode in a long time because, um, we've run out of ideas, but we just got one. Me and Tundra here. Hi. Um, we're going to show you how to make probably the most important thing for your Whipkins. It's outfit. Like, I already have one. It's cute. I lost the hat. And yeah, so we're going to be making one for Tundra. All you're going to need is a sock that you can cut up. I got a bunch of these for Christmas. And some scissors. Didn't get this for Christmas. Okay, first off, you need to take some measurements of your webkins. Okay, actually, take your sock and you cut right here at the foot hole and make sure it's pretty nicely sized these this is going to be your webkin's hat beanie whatever you want to call it and you don't want to make it too small or too big and okay so just cut it freaking cut <sighs> This most, most of this video would be the troubles with cutting. I like using fluffy socks, but they're just so hard to cut. Oh. Come on. Halfway through. I haven't actually been feeling good myself, Double Trouble Webkins number one, but I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to make you guys a video. Right now I'm sweating, even though my room is always freezing cold, and so I guess that's bad. But I've got to make you guys a video. My room is always cold, like usually the windows are open all year round. Yeah, call me crazy. Um, I just forget to close them. So, yeah, it's always like freezing cold in here. Um, yeah, so I, the fact that I'm sweating in here is really bad. I got a tank top and shorts on and it's winter. Oh my gosh. I think I'm sick. And there we go, cute little hat. And then you put it on your webkins. And I made it too small. There's a way to fix that. You give it ear holes. You just pinch where you know the ears are supposed to be. Pinch, right here. And then snip it off. this video many times it hasn't freaking worked okay I think that's good got a little hole and you do the same thing on this side I'm just gonna poke a hole And stretch because I'm too lazy to actually cut it. Okay, and then you put it on your webkins. And okay, there you go. Cute. Whoop. Okay, I'm a fox. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, and the next thing is, take the remaining part of your sock, and this is for long socks, um, you cut 
to here and I suggest using this elastic part right here for the neck. It's really nice for the neck and um, you measure and um, you can make it to the tail and have a tail hole or you can just make it more like a shirt. I think what I'm going to do is just make it a shirt so I can make more something for another webkins. Yeah, so. Oh, and the heel is also really good. And like each webkin's different. Like the low kin, you have to use like baby socks. My size 10 socks. Okay, 11. You know, made for people with 11 size feet. Um, wouldn't work for low kins, I should know. I tried. And it's huge. So yeah, this is great for your old socks because webkin clothing is cute and nice. But it's just really expensive and it doesn't fit any of the webkins. Except for like the brown dogs and caca spaniels and golden retrievers. It's just so expensive. So, yeah. I mean, like, you could sew something. I know how to sew, but this is supposed to be something you should, you can probably be able to do. And not everyone has a sewing kit, you know. I just like it. I just like got one, so yeah. And not everyone knows how to sew or have a sewing machine. And sewing can be pretty hard when you work on small scale. Okay, then you do the same thing with the ears. You pinch and snip. The one thing I don't like about this new camera is that red light it gives off. It's constantly blinking that. I don't know if you can see that on the webcams, but it really bugs me. Like, oh my gosh. That. Oh, I guess both of my parents are home. Yippee. I don't really care. Right now. And make sure not to make them too big. If you make them too big, it's really awkward. And so, um, you can also just do it lazily by poking in and just snipping a little bit and then stretching. Sure, it won't give the best fit, but if you want to be lazy and just get done, there you go. And so I had to take off a hat and now, yeah. Like you can make hats without any ears hole, ear holes if you get it big enough. I'm like, I want to do that, but I can never get it the right size. That's just really frustrating. Yeah. Like, you could make pants, too, I guess. You could sew it, or it could just be like a swimsuit bottom. Now you put a hat on. I mean, I've seen people do this before. It's cute. And with the Googles, you just have to have a pretty big sock. And make almost like a... And make a hat, you know, but then put on the butt or give them a belt. So, yeah, this is her ice tundra with a cute outfit. You can do this for all your webkins. Granted, we have like two of that wouldn't really work, but you know, we need a lot of socks. But okay, well, my camera's gonna die, so. Thanks for watching the webkins crafting table and. Bye. Have a great weekend. I know it's Tuesday, but the weekend's coming up. And I have Friday off for some reason. I don't know. So, bye.